Hi, this is Carol. I am the owner and founder of Notary 2 Pro. I've been training notaries for a little over 12 years to be professional loan signers. And I have a guest today who is one of my graduates, somebody I'm very proud of and very excited about. And uh, this is Sue. I, I, I'm going to let her introduce your, uh, you to her. And uh, Sue, if you talk about when you came to us to be trained and why, what were the circumstances and why you chose us, I'd appreciate it. But okay, well, yourself. Okay, well, thank you so much for feeling that I have something to offer to the, the people out there because my struggle was, um, has been my whole life. And um, just to give you a background, I lived in rural Washington for 60 plus years. And um, part, some of my background is milking cows um, for seven years and raising chickens and doing everything rural. Um, for the last 22 years, I was a school bus driver, 18 up in Washington and three years down in Chandler. And um, when I moved down to Arizona, I took like a 50% cut in my wages. So I, I couldn't just do the bus driving so I did Uber and I needed to be able to figure out ways of making money and it was just not happening. And so on my birthday, two, two years ago, September of, what is this, 21, 19, my daughter says, well, why don't you try notary work? My friend up here in Washington is making good money. So I said, okay. So I checked out, you know, several different um, companies and I didn't like the energy. Um, I like small things and you notary to pro wasn't saying you're gonna get six figures. It just says you're gonna be a notary and you're going to become a professional. That's what I got out of it. So I called Carol and then you talked my ear off. And I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go with you because I like you. I get good energy. You're not trying to sell me something that isn't uh, feasible. Um, and uh, so I went with you because I liked, I liked you and I liked your energy. Thank you for that. So what did you, we've talked before, and I know that you were not, you're not a high powered person. You wanted a simple life, but you wanted to have a career. And uh, marketing, getting out there and busting down the doors is, is not the type of graduate that you wanted to be. You just wanted to continue with the simple life, but be able to earn money and be able to hold your head up high and say you're a prof professional. So how did you get started? What was your, where did your first signing come from? It came from a company back east that, um, looked on Rotary Notary, and it was my very first, and I stumbled my way through that, but I didn't make any mistakes. I didn't know the documents, but, you know, I didn't make any mistakes, and um, after that, I just kind of put myself out there with snap docs. My dream was is just to have a couple signing companies to work with, because I'm not a huge fan of crowds, large people to have to to worry about. So I, um, my goal was just to make enough to pay my bills, to save a little bit. I never, ever had a dream of ever buying my home. That was, you know, I will never have my own home is, was my motto. Um, and then I talked to you one day because I was so frustrated that I couldn't get the documents down. And you, so you mentioned Ronnie at Notary, Notary Stars that he was having a boot camp. So I went with that and I learned a lot of information, got a lot of support from Ronnie. And um, the first, the first, they say that it takes 10 signings to get the documents. Well, it took me a hundred before I felt confident. I lost 15 pounds that first month because every time I took an order, I could not eat, my stomach was turned upside down and um, I did not feel comfortable. And so I continued with 
uh, notary stars and continued my education. And as you know, I called you crying about, I can't do this. I cried to my son and he says, mom, you've only done this for four months. What do you expect? <laughs> Excuse me. And I said, I expect to make a living and I'm not doing it because I'm so uncomfortable doing this. And um, so I just persevered. And then one day I was talking to Ronnie and he says, Sue, I'm going to give you tough love. And he's really good at, uh, it's called loving tough love. And he says, you need one-on-one -on -one help. And so I said, fine. He says, you pay me the money and I will make sure that you guarantee, and I will guarantee that you make it back. Well, ever since that meeting, I, I think it was just his confidence that he knew that I could do it. I knew I could do it, but I have too many negative voices in my head that kept deterring me from doing it. So to, to run ahead two and a half or two years later, almost two years later, I was able to buy my own home, which I had never, was never going to own it. And I have developed a working relationship with Ronnie. I work almost exclusively for him as a white glove notary. My mistake level is in the 0.01%. Um, I go into a signing and I'm comfortable. And um, I, I, my kids always remind me, mom, you don't have to work as hard as you do now. You don't have to make all that money because I got a mortgage that I could afford, a house that I love. And um, having you start me out and Ronnie just kind of backing me up just made my whole my whole life change from this rural girl milking cows driving school bus to wearing makeup um, wearing nice clothes and dealing with grown-up minds instead of kid minds well this type of work was not in your wheelhouse it wasn't something that you had spent any time in your life doing no, uh, I, I can't tell you when you called me a couple of weeks ago and you told me that you had uh, purchased your first home. My kids will tell you, I got off the phone and I cried. I cried <laughs> out so of sweet. joy for you and to feel like we had a, even a small part of that, of your journey was more than I can tell you. This is what I get out of what we do is relating to my students and watching them, you know, go from some, for some of them, some really horrible stories and some terrible lives. Not that you had one, but, but going from the very bottom of things to oh, yeah. achieving their goals and being successful and feeling confident and look at you, look at you, you're beautiful, you smile, you just shine. Um, so tell me about the very first signing. What was that like for you? Because I know most of my students, they think they're going to be just great. Then they get their first signing and they've totally fallen apart. My mind went blank. I, I am not good with tests and I was, this was a test of my knowledge and, you know, I would watch notary stars and go, yeah, yeah, I know that, I know that. And then I'm sitting across from this pe person who I'm supposed to be professional with and I'll go, oh, just a second, let me take a look at this paper. And then I'd skim it and go, oh yeah, this is what this is. Um, it, it was horrifying. I, I mean, if I can do it, trust me anybody else can do it because I literally pulled myself up after every signing for, oh, I don't know. It must've been months, at least six months. I didn't six really months, start yeah. signing from September to March. And I think then, it was, I'm sorry. I think it was six months. You know, like yeah, if I recall. It was six months before I got, I felt good. I made um, flashcards. I went through every document and I made flashcards and I would go through those flashcards every day and it never failed. I would miss one mistake. But you see, my thing is, is I always took orders that I would have overnight before I had to return them. So I would check the documents at the table after we finished signing. And then I'd go home and go, oh, my God, I forgot an initial. 
And they may be 30 miles away over in Maricopa and I would call them and, and jump in my car. So I always had perfect documents, but I tell you, I spent more time in that six months going back and getting little things corrected, forget a signature, forget a date. It was, it was nerve wracking, but now your daughter, she came over and was just filling my brain with all kinds of new home improvements that I could do. And my mind was so overwhelmed that I had a signing that day and I breathed a sigh of relief because signings to me now are fun and uh, I'm comfortable and I just feel great. But I tell you that first six months, I did not think I was going to make it. It's really hard when you've not done this work before. It really is. And I'm just, I can't tell you how proud I am of you, how far you've come. But now I do tell the students that they not only check them at the table once, they need to check them twice. Right. Uh, somebody's calling me. I have to <laughs> try to hang up on them. They, they um, need to check them at the table and they need to take signings in the evening so that they can go home and check them. Oh, not do. only that, but twice at the table. And now I've been telling people, which is working, go around the corner, park near their house. I've done go that. Go again, because if you catch something there, now you you're, can, right, you're there. right there. You can go back. And I, I can't agree. tell you how many times I've gotten a call from, from a graduate who's told me that they've done that. They've caught something small, didn't have to go back. I know. Um, yeah, but well, I'm just really excited for you. I wanted to ask you a couple of other things. Um, first of all, what kind of advice do you have for somebody who was in your position? Because there are a lot of people, a lot of our students, this is way out of their wheelhouse. Um, don't get discouraged. Uh, my girlfriend up in Anthem, and I have to say her name because I met her through Notary Stars and she has become my bestie. Her name is Rhonda. And we talk every day. We tell our horror stories at signing tables. We are can be sad, depressed. Don't set a goal. How much money do you want to make? And don't be afraid to reach out to people. Um, Join Notary Stars. They've got so much information and the people there, it's not like the uh, notary Facebooks where they sit and moan and groan about everything. They're constructive and they're helpful. Just persevere. If I can get it, I guarantee that you, they will get it because I was so, I pulled myself up so many times from the floor, dusted myself off, and took another order. And every time I took an order, one time I remember I was, did an order and I, I went, yay, Stella's got her groove, <laughs> you know, <laughs> which was really funny because I struggled. And you just have fun with it. Have fun and, with and it. And it is fun. It, it, it is. is. You meet such wonderful people. And, and when you get into that groove, there's becomes like um, a personal relationship where you and you really it's it's almost turns into a social situation. Oh yeah. So yeah. yeah. In fact, working with um, just a couple companies, I've actually um, gotten on good basis friendships with the title escrow people. And if you do a good job and they know that you're out there doing your utmost best, that if you make an error, you're on it immediately and you get it fixed if you do make like a silly thing like you forget an initial you know they're so forgiving if they know that you you don't make errors consistently but since I bought my new house the ladies at um, the title company were so excited that they're coming over on Saturday at, for a housewarming and then um, two weekends ago I had Ronnie and my girlfriend Rhonda come down for my home, my homecoming. And, and it's like, it's such a neat community. I just feel so honored to be able to work with, with all these great people because they're, they're people 
and their job isn't easy. And I just really struggle to, or not struggle, but I really work at making their job easier by giving them good documents. That's just wonderful. One of the things that we try to train people, because we're the foundation. Notary to Pro is the basics. Notary Stars takes, takes people beyond that and so much wonderful additional training. But one of the things that we talk about a lot is errors. We're all human. We oh, yeah. all make mistakes without a doubt. I've made my share, even though I retired many years in ESCO as an officer and a manager. Um, they're bound to happen. And mm -hmm. it's how graciously you do handle it. You take responsibility for it, and then you get up off your butt and you go fix it. That's what's important. That's exactly. And, and you know, even if you want to make big money, you don't have to schedule yourself to where you don't have time to make mis to correct your errors. When um, some when somebody from the title company calls me or texts me, I'm always checking my texts and my messages. I and they say, "Oh, well, you forgot to stamp it," and I immediately reply back, "I am on my way," and they know that I am on my way because I don't leave errors. Very good. Um, Very you know. Good. And, I, and if they say you need to go back to the signers, I pull the order out of my order file and I call the client and I say, this is what's happening. I'm gonna, when would be a good time for you? And um, then I contact the title company and say, I've contacted the, the signer. I'm going back there at five o'clock or you know whenever. And I will have that document to you as soon as I can. So your bus day. driving days are over. Oh, I look at a school bus driver and they're wearing the mask and I know it's so hot in that bus. And I think I'm so happy doing what I'm doing. It, I don't miss it at all. I don't even, miss, I miss the kids, but I driving in Arizona, there's no way that the air conditioning ever touches. I used to wear tank tops and then I would get a wet rag as wet as I could before, um, before I started my shift and I would put, it would look like I was in a wet t-shirt contest, but that's the only way I could stay cool. All right, I live I there. Do not miss it. We lived there for seven years, so I'm very aware of it. I do not miss well, it. Do you have because any I, uh, advice? I mean, anything in particular that you'd like to share with a newbie um, that maybe was feeling like you are? Just stick with it. Um, if you have your own loan documents, go through those. You know, everybody has purchased a house. Well, not everybody up, up until 65 years old. I never had a house. But I go back through my documents because it's got some interesting things in it. Just reach out to somebody, you know, call Notary Stars. I, I actually would love to mentor people because... It's different when, when you're on notary stars because I learn at a different level. I learn slower. So sometimes people learn slower, but just stick with it. Just try to find people out there. There's people out there like me that aren't out there to make a ton of money. They just want to enjoy their golden years and um, would love to help somebody go over my own documents, share the screen and do a Zoom meeting and just mm -hmm. go over the documents. So just stick with it, find people. Don't put yourself out there to millions of companies. Be, find a couple that you like. If, if you're like me, you don't wanna work for a lot of people. I just wanna work for a handful because I can get that personal relationship, which is real important to me. Right. So just stick with it. Well, we have a lot of our students now the last few years who are seniors, mm -hmm. uh, anywhere from their 50s, 60s, and even in their 70s. Right. Well, I'm almost there. Yep. Yeah. I am there. I'm almost 80. <laughs> uh, well, Sue, thank you so much for being a part of this. We're going to be putting this on uh, our channel, um, YouTube channel, so people will have a chance to get to meet you and, and see a different a different way to do this job that might be more suiting to them than out to, you know. Yeah, if, if, if they're, you know, 50 plus, then they, 
they probably just want to have something that they enjoy. And I can guarantee that after, well, for me, it took six months, but for them, it might take 10 signings, but you can really enjoy it and work on your own schedule. Like today, I'm passing up all my calls because I'm going to get my grandkids to babysit them from one to six. So, you, you know, you, we want to enjoy our grandkids and sitting on our Arizona room and swinging and we don't want to be out there hustling, hustle, hustle, hustle. That's for the young people. And this is a job that can certainly make that work. Although right. we have a couple of students that are in their 60s, uh, one of my students made over uh, $235,000 last year. Right. She hustled because she had a reason to do it. She, uh, her daughter was in having severe eye problems and had to have surgery and she wanted to set up her daughter and purchase a condominium for her, pay for it. Right. So she had a place to live the rest of her life without right. having to depend on her mother. And she did it. She did it, but she worked hard. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. You know, that takes a lot of work, but she made it. So, you yeah, know, my she, kid. Go ahead. Oh. I was just going to say, all my kids are settled. It's just me and my cats. And um, I know what I want to make each month and I do it. And then if I figure out how many signings I need to do that, then I just figure that into my schedule and and um, I can enjoy my golden years. Terrific. Well, it was lovely speaking to you. I mean, we do it a lot on the phone, but it was right. really nice to be able to do this so that people could see a different a different perspective on doing this, this job. And I think a lot of people out there will relate to your life and how you're living it now. And yeah, enjoying it. in my own home. That's right. <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and stop this recording. And let's see this.